In this video, we'll discuss examples of the sine, area, and cosine rule. First off, the area rule. Now, the area of the triangle ABC can be found by saying half a b sine of angle c now lowercase a is referring to the length of b c that is the side of the triangle opposite angle a lowercase b represents the side a c which is opposite the angle b and you can also find lowercase c which is opposite angle c so the area of the triangle is half AB sine C. Notice we are using sine C, so we're referring to angle C. And the angle is in between the two sides that we would use to find this length. Alternatively, I could say the area of the triangle is equal to half BC sine of a now i'm using angle a and angle a is the angle between the two sides that we consider to find the area of triangle abc and then thirdly we have half a c sine of b so we are considering angle B and angle B is the angle connected to the two sides that we are using, so sides A and C. Now let's say for example angle B is given as 43 degrees and the length of AB is 6 centimeters. And the length of BC is given as 4 centimeters. Then the area of this triangle would be a half times 4 times 6 sine of angle B, which is 43 degrees. And if I put these values in my calculator, I find the area to be 8.18 centimeters squared let us consider triangle abc to discuss the cosine rule and as we've explained before the sides can be named according to the angle on the opposite side of those particular sides now the cosine rule can be used to find the size of an angle or the length of a side and if you look carefully, it almost looks like Pythagoras. Let's say, for example, I want to find the length of side A or BC. So A square would be equal to B square plus C square, which almost looks like Pythagoras. But we can only apply Pythagoras in right angle triangles. And clearly, this triangle is not a right-angled triangle. So we need to compensate for that. So we say minus 2BC times the cos of A. So if you look at the contents of the cosine rule, we are using the cos of A or the angle A within the equation and that angle is in between the two sides that we use within the equation so that's sides b and c and this will allow us to find this the length of a and similarly we can find the length of b or ac which would be b square is equal to a square plus c square minus 
2AC cos of angle B. Yet again, we have cos of B. So we're using angle B within our equation. And the two sides within the equation is connected to the angle B. So that is side A and C. And this will allow us to find the length of the side AC or lowercase b. And similarly, we can find the length of the side AB. So C squared would be A squared plus B squared minus 2AB times the cos of angle C. And let's use an example. Let us say that angle C is equal to 40 degrees and the length of BC is equal to 6 units and the length of AC equal to 3 units. And we want to find the length of AB. So we can say AB square or we could say lowercase c squared is equals to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos of angle c and if i substitute i have 6 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times 6 times 3 cos of 40 degrees and on my calculator, I would find that this is 17.42 in a few more decimal places. And if I take the square root of that value, I'd find that the length of C is 4.1 units. Now we can also use the cosine rule to find the size of an angle. So here we have triangle ABC with the lengths 3, 4 and 6 and we want to find the size of angle C. So I could say C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cos of angle C. I know the length of side C which is 3 so it will be 3 squared which is 9 plus a square which is 6 so 6 square is 36 plus b square which is 4 so that is 16 minus 2 times 6 times 4 cos of angle c so that will be 9 is equals to 52 minus 48 cos of c and now we simply need to isolate cos. So it will be negative 43 is equal to negative 48 cos C. Therefore, cos of C is 43 over 48. And I use the reciprocal function on my calculator to find angle C. So that is 26.38 degrees. And the sine rule is the simplest of the three. The sine of angle A over the length of A equals to the sine of angle B over the length of B equals the sine of angle C over the length of C. And because this is a ratio, you can also use it the other way around. So it will be A over sine A is equal to B over sine of B is equal to C over the sine of C. Let us say, for example, that C is equals to 46 degrees, angle A is equals to 39 degrees, and BC is equals to 2 units. And we want to find the length of AB. So AB which represents lowercase c over the sine of 46 would be equal to 2 
over the sine of 39. Notice we are using the lengths and the angles together as pairs which are opposite each other to create our ratio. Therefore, AB would be equals to 2 times the sine of 46 degrees over the sine of 39 degrees, which is equals to 2.3 units. In our next example, we have triangle ABC, and it is given that BD is the median of triangle ABC. Now, if BD is the median, it means it bisects the area of the triangle, so it cuts the triangle into two equal halves. We are given that this angle is theta plus z, that the length of DC is given as P, and that the angle C is given as z. The first question is express angle B1 in terms of theta. So if I look at the diagram, I can see that B1 is within this triangle and that theta plus z is the exterior angle and the two opposite angles is B1 and z. And this is the exterior angle of a triangle. It's equals to the two opposite interior angles. Therefore, B1 is equals to theta plus z minus z, and that is equals to theta. The second question says, prove that DB is equals to P sine z sine theta. So we want to prove the length of DB is equals to P sine z and sine theta and we know that b1 is equal to theta and there we have p as well so within triangle dbc we have db over the sine of z because db is over the angle c is equals to p over the sine of theta and if I isolate db it is equals to p times sine of z over the sine of theta the next question says prove that the area of triangle ADB is p squared sine z sine z plus theta over 2 sine theta so we want to find the area of triangle ADB. And for the area of this triangle, we want to use this angle theta plus z. So we need to find the length of AD and the length of DB. But in the previous question, we already proved that DB is equal to P sine z sine theta. And because BD is the median, it will mean that DC is equals to AD. So AD would be equal to P as well because BD was given as the median. Therefore, the area of ADB is half of AD times DB times the sine of theta plus Z. But AD is equal to P and DB is P times the sine of Z over the sine of theta times the sine of theta plus Z. So if I simplify, I have 1 times P times P, which is P squared, times the sine of Z times sine of theta plus z and in the denominator 2 sine theta and that is exactly what we wanted to prove that the area is b square sine z times 
sine of theta plus z over 2 sine theta. And the last question says, determine the area of triangle ABC. So the area of triangle ABC is simply 2 times the area of triangle ADB because BD is given as the median of the triangle. So therefore it will be 2 times P squared sine Z sine theta plus Z over 2 sine theta. And the 2's will simply cancel out.